involved in gangs without even knowing it until it's too late. That ass. That's what, bro. I be sick, but I'm not from London. But just rank the Tottenham man them as the. Dude, that nigga Loki look like Bando K. Am I tripping? Specific estates or sections. Bro, look at this fat nigga, bro. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Let me chill, 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 chill. Nah, but bro, look at this nigga. Look at these two niggas, bro. Of Tottenham. I just can't take these two niggas right here. One of these is it. Calling themselves okay. Sin Squad, hitting millions okay, of. Okay, yeah, we do know about these FB member called Cash. Ooh, and the song that. Yo, I never listened to that song though. Yo, I swear, I saw a video of this. And it was like related to like, and it was like SG in the video and shit. And then this video played. I know what the fuck it meant. The Tapped in for a while. You know, I fuck with OFB heavy. Like heavy, heavy. NPK, I think I know too. But OFB, I definitely know. I definitely know OFB. OFB got like Heady One. They got that boy SJ. Abra, bro, yo, they deep. I ain't gonna lie, they deep. I got, Throughout I got the rise of UK drill, with because I, I I heard they in beef with some other niggas too, but I'm guessing this is in Tottenham, right? See many artists and groups' relationships crash and burn, but not many has been as infamous and televised than two groups in a North London town called Tottenham. Today, we'll be looking into the rise and fall between two drill groups called MPK and OFB, and how their friendship turned into eventual tragedy. Let's get into it. Damn, we got a sponsor. And I just want to quickly say before I get into any okay. of this that this life is not the way forward. A lot of young kids growing up, especially in London, are getting involved in gangs without even knowing it until it's too late. That ass. That's what, bro. I be sick, but I'm not from London. But I be saying before every one of the vids, I be saying we don't endorse this shit. Like it's just fucking retarded. It's. It's actually sad as fuck, bro. Like, but know. luckily, we live in a time where there's a lot of support for young kids who are starting to see themselves creep into this lifestyle. And I ain't gonna lie, let me say something. If y'all y'all might not be old and mature enough to understand some of this shit I'm about to say, bro, that lifestyle is one of the most racist shits I've ever seen in my life, bro. If you see a nigga, a black nigga, just because he's in your hood, bro, and you go and press him or, or threaten to shoot him, stab him, just because of the way he look... My nigga, that is one of the biggest racial, whatever you fuck you call it, you could ever fucking do in your life, bro. You go up to a nigga just because he's a, a black dude, you go press him. Or because, he, you know, he from he Middle Eastern or he, he, you know what I'm saying, where he African. Like, yo, yo, like, that's tough. Like, you can't, that shit's racist. Whether like, it's mental health that support, that mentality in itself. Rehousing, is mentoring, or financial support. Reach out to my Instagram in the description and I'll do my best to lead you into the numerous programs and charities who work hard to help people make a new life for themselves. Because at the end of the day, there's not much possibilities out of this life except death or jail. Now let's get exactly. into the video. So, like I said, okay, before, I like we're that. taking this. I like that, kid nerd. I like that, I like that, I like that. Story to the north. London town of Tottenham. Now Tottenham is Tottenham. infamous for many reasons. It's bred some of the biggest artists in the UK, stemming from global pop stars like Adele and major grime artists such as Skepta and Chip. And now big draw artists Yo, like yeah, I fuck with Skepta. Head you one and Abracadabra. In the last few decades, Tottenham has also been notable for a lot of violence and crime. Infamously, yeah, the area of Tottenham has been known for igniting big uprisings like the Broadwater Farm riots in 1985 and the London 2011 riots which put the country into a national lockdown which is a topic for what that's cr yo i think I, well, I heard of this though the lockdown thing i heard about i think if i remember it's correctly like the brood war farm riots yeah, I heard in about 1985 that. It, it, wasn't there like a movie made on that or something like that or like a documentary the 2011 I I, riots I which already. put the country into a national lockdown which is a topic for another video but also a lot of gang warfare has plagued the community especially in recent years see Dude, that boy getting fucked up is this is a Damn. big area spanning across two different postcodes, N15 and N17, with many yeah. different estates and cliques. But today we'll be focusing on the N17 side of the town, which is a I mean, this looks so confusing to me though, but yeah. more notorious for violence than the other. So let's take it back to the 1970s, to a big house and estate inside Tottenham called Broadwater Farm. Okay. Inside this okay. estate, the formation of a group called the Tottenham Mandem was created. The Tottenham Mandem throughout the 70s to the 90s built up a big reputation for violence across london they were big players in the london drug market and the tour okay okay firstly the niggas had stature they had many deadly feuds of other groups across london to the point where the met police ranked the tottenham mandem as the Dude, that nigga low-key look like bando k am i tripping 
With just short hair. Does he low-key look like Bando K or I'm chipping? Second highest group in London. This group. nigga look like Bando K, bro. And that's Crime Network. And the group spread their influence all am I ch- no, I'm not chipping. There's members. no way I'm chipping. I don't give a fuck. I, I'm not chipping. I am not. I, I can't be. Nah, I'm not chipping. I know for a fact I'm not, bro. There's no way. Nah, he, he dead ass look like Ben okay. Over the town. Why. Then in the early 2000s, the vibes inside the group caused members to disband, which resulted in several different offshoot groups who started repping their specific estates or sections. Oh, look at this fat nigga, bro. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Let me chill, 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 chill. <laughs> nah, but bro, look at this nigga. Look at these two niggas, bro. Of Tottenham. I just can't take these two niggas right here. One serious. of these areas being in the Broadwater Farm Estate. Which I don't lie, that building was kind of fire. Was the original area of the Tottenham Mandem. And another was an area located less than 10 minutes away called Northumberland Park. Members of the Tottenham Mandem from Broadwater Farm started rolling with the name Star Gang, now okay. known as OFB. And members from Northumberland Park. Wait, what? Wait, wait. Um, started rolling with the name Star Gang, now known as OFB. Okay, and okay, 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 okay. Park right. started calling themselves MPK. For the most part, MPK and OFB members had a relatively good relationship, with them both having the same enemies being two nearby arees called Wood Green and Edmonton, who Tottenham okay. had been feuding with for a while now. The feud between Tottenham and the two local areas started to be more known, when UK rap music started getting platformed on several YouTube exactly. channels. Exactly, it's always always when the fucking music starts the nigga think they hit bro like limitless vids and pacman tv a few mpk members i, heard, I heard about pacman tv starts and ofb members that had you one and rv started hopping on tracks together cementing their relationship in the public eye ofb yeah, members yeah. dropped tracks like youngers from farm which was making noise all over north london but summertime 2010 an ofb member called young rv dropped a big tune called cruddy on the streets which really put a spotlight on ofb as a whole Oh, an okay. MPK rapper called Stretch was also putting on for Tottenham musically, dropping tracks at Sky Style. Yeah, that nigga looks different as fuck. Them niggas look young. Yo, how old is Eddie One now, though? I'm Damn, just... how old is he? Because I know he's older than most of the niggas in the group, like the musically, I'm talking. How old is he? Stretch and RV were actually quite close friends. But in a situation in 2011, Stretch was stabbed by members from the nearby area Wood Green. Allegedly, RV was with him when it happened, but ended up running away, leaving Stretch to have oh, a deep anyways. hatred for RV and other OFB members. Stretch addressed the situation on a track called You're Not Cruddy on the Streets, which That's was a nasty, direct diss record to RV, which left both sides to have a bit of a shaky relationship. For the next few yeah. years, both sides weren't just generally the closest in all right but so far it's all right so far till the late 2010s right? when the new generation of tottenham were coming up kids from okay. both northumberland park and broadwater farm grew up together through school and playing out and a yep. lot of families crossed between both areas and despite the past issues between the two parts of tottenham the next generation of kids managed to maintain their tight relationships okay even after they okay, started I claiming that. that's good that's good right? in 2017 to 18 a lot of the spotlight from the uk drill scene was on tottenham a few mpk members called g P, Unks, and KK started going up in music, calling themselves okay. Sin Squad, hitting millions okay, of Okay, yeah, we do know about these. Oh, yo, did I, did I listen to all of these? I think I might I might have to listen. Do I have to listen to this? Do I have to get on this or not? Nah? Is it worth it? I might have to get on it on stream. I'm gonna start streaming soon. Their tracks. RV from back OFB up, had up. not long come out of jail for a 2012 stabbing case, and him and another OFB rapper called Heady One. That's a won- fire mask, though. The I'm way the so mask, yo, that's, yo, that's tough. Nah, I like that, I like that. It must be annoying though when you fucking trying to move this shit. Hopping on tracks together, Bruh. creating one of the most legendary duos to come from UK drill. But in a- yo, wait, 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 wait. Let me. Wait. 2012 stabbing case, and him and another OFB rapper called Heady One started hopping on tracks together. Yeah. Creating one of the most legendary duos to come from UK drill. But in early 2018, the younger members from OFB started trying their luck on drill beats. A few of the younger members jumped on a track with an older OFB member called Cash. Ooh. And the song that. Yo, I never listened to that song though. I okay, obviously I know Double Lit. I yeah, I know, I know. But, oh my god, that looks tough though. That looks that's how crazy. I have to hear that. 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 Decent numbers. I'm after. I'm after hear that. I never. And it was a first track for many of the rappers on the tune. But throughout the year of 2018. Oh my god, this one is so tough. Yo, SJ's part on the second part of the, of the next up is like, bro, that is different, bro. 
I'm gonna next up being told that I'm next up. Nah, that was tough. That was the tough. younger was members tough. started jumping in the booth more and more, especially three OFB members who went by the name Double L's, SJ, and Band OK. They started. Oh man, holy! What a, that's a lineup. Dropping bro. music consistently. That's a lineup, bro. A big buzz in the UK. On the back of their success, younger members from MPK also started hopping in the booth, but weren't taking it as serious as OFB, so they weren't releasing much. A lot of their tunes started getting leaked online and posted on YouTube, creating a big underground fandom for the group. These times a lot was going on in North London and 2018 proved to be a deadly year for Tottenham and surrounding areas, with back to back shootings, stabbings and murders occurring throughout the year, mainly between the areas of Wood Green and Tottenham. Girl, 17 dies from gunshot wounds. Well. And unfortunately this constant back to back violence around the towns eventually ended up being MPK's and OFB's downfall. It all started on February the 22nd, 2019. The night before this day, a group of boys had drove and parked a Peugeot car inside the Broadwater Farm Estate, which would okay. become a meeting point the following day for several of B and MPK rappers. The next day around 7pm, a group of seven of B and MPK younger members and rappers set off on bikes armed with a handgun, shotgun, swords and machetes, heading for their what? opposing area with green. When the group Okay. Oh, MPK and OFB. They reached right. a street called Lordship Lane in Wood Green. They spotted four guys who they believed to be part of the Wood Green gang. Once the group locked onto them, they dropped. The oh, it wasn't them though. That's so. Their bastard. Yeah, what's the point of doing? Yo, these niggas are so dumb though. Like brought so out their retarded. weapons and started to pursue the four members with one of the shots narrowly missing the woman who was in a nearby store the Bruh. wood green members started running into the yeah, i seen this video before bro on ig i seen this video yo i never knew that way yo i swear i saw a video of this and it was like related to like bro i saw an edit on ig or some shit some ofb edit and it was like sg in the video and shit and then this video played, I know what the fuck yeah, it so meant. The Tottenham though. group got back on their bicycles to try and catch up with one of the victims who was falling behind the rest. They managed to catch up and corner a 20 year old man, then proceeded to stab him eight times in total and shooting oh, him really? once in full sight of members of the public. But their attack was interrupted when one of the victims called Kamali managed to retrieve his car and attempt to drive it into the attackers to save his friend. But once the group saw Kamali in his car driving towards them, they turned their attention to was him, circling his car attempting to smash his windows to get him out. While he was stuck between two cars trying to reverse okay, out, okay. Kamali eventually ditched his car to try and run into a hairdresser's which was nearby. Once he got into the shop he tried to barricade himself inside, but the attackers managed to force themselves in, resulting in Kamali being struck several times, leaving oh. him in a terrible state on the scene. Afterwards, oh the my god, niggas a terrible state, terrible state. That man was mashed up, bro. Oh my god, bro, bro. You niggas have shanks, bro. Right? back to the Broadwater Farm estate no way, and right? changing the clothes which they left in the car they parked off the day before and rode away. Sadly, Kamali didn't make it no and his death was announced it. the following morning. In the next few months, one by one, each attacker was getting arrested and remanded. At a time when OFB were reaching the highest numbers in the UK drill scene, two days before this attack on Kamali, SJ from OFB alongside two other OFB Yup, 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 oh my god, that next up was so different, bro, that next up was so different when it dropped, bro. And now stuff was looking real for SJ after he was getting investigated for allegedly being on the scene on the day. During this time, SJ started hitting the booth heavily, dropping some big tracks, building his name to be probably one of the biggest drill artists yep. out at the time. But yep. a couple months later, the tragedy of K1 caught up to SJ in the worst type of way. SJ alongside other old yeah, away. this shit. Okay, so apparently he had like hella potential. Didn't he play like didn't he play the football? Play football, right? He was nice, no? Invited was it him? To a freestyle session hosted by the well-established DJ called Tim Westwood. Yeah, on a yeah, yeah. Called Crib Sessions, which in 2019 was one of the biggest platforms for UK drill artists to go on. So it was a big statement that OFB was invited to go. But in one of the most unfortunate turn of events, halfway through the crib session, some shit happened, right? SJ got a call from the police to inform him that he was wanted for the murder of Kamali. Oh yeah, it was that? It was that? 
that, that he that. was to hand himself over to police immediately. You can even see halfway through the freestyle, SJ's mood starts to change, realizing that this may be his last day of freedom for a very long time. Not long after the crib session, SJ hands himself in, and now with five out of the seven suspected attackers Fuck, locked up, awaiting bro. trial for the murder of Kamali. It wasn't long before there started being issues between both OFB and MPK members in jail regarding the case. Quite early on, there was rumors circulating that one of the MPK members who was on the case, who goes by the name of Osav, was starting to snitch on the situation, allegedly implicating Bro. other members in the murder. A few ah. OFB members had stuff to say about it on Snapchat. Also, no, no, also, more like all snit, all, all rat. How was my man going with the court? This is Building a, tensions and situations between tough. MPK and the OFB inside and outside of jail. On October the 8th, 2019, the trial officially started and the tension was high in the courtroom. Several teenagers who hadn't even started their lives properly yet was looking at going to prison for the best parts of their life and emotions were high in the court. Not too long before the start of the trial, SJ had even been offered 150. Oh my God, bro. Fuck, bro, that's so tough. 55,000 pound record deal while awaiting trial for the murder, which was a big sign that if he managed to beat this case, there was another life waiting for him on the other side. But the trial didn't go well, and it wasn't long till the jury handed their guilty verdict for all the five young men. Yeah, but they had proof that he did that shit, right? It wasn't like they just falsely accused the nigga. They nigga killed the nigga. At the sentencing, all hell broke loose. MPK members and SJ started to fight. What? Bro, what? and yell abuse to each other in the courtroom in front I didn't know that the erosion broke out a brawl in the old building courtroom after a fight broke out with five Joe rappers with Joe oh my and the God. judge and when they were all sentenced to between 21 to 28 years each the room turned into chaos chairs and other bits of furniture started to get thrown into the docks and all the defendants started to get separated after repeated violence between each other one of the defendants stepdads even leaped from the stands and started to threaten the judge screaming that he will murder him after the sentence was announced the tension continued outside the courtroom when families and friends of the five defendants started to argue out Sad. Not long after, SJ Fuck. and other OFB members took to Snapchat to say their side of the Stop story. It. Is a nerd which of times we speak. You know it's funny. All the nine them was that core listening to a you blame it on O. I just don't get it, man. Oh, damn. Damn. Damn, bro. Labeling the MPK members as snitches on the case, Fuck. which overall was the real nah, start of tough, the break off bro. between both MPK I mean, and sense. OFB. And members on both sides were making this publicly known through social media. But soon after the sentencing, on the 19th of February 2020, stuff started getting physical between both sides. Three OFB and MPK members bumped into each other at a local Look at this nigga fucking shanking me. Look, 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 look at this nigga Three fucking sword fighting. Look at this nigga fucking sword Hey members ba ba bumped into each other at a bro. local barbershop, which it's ended with shaver. two OFB members being stabbed and slashed multiple times. A CCTV video of the situation leaked, which was posted all around social media, bringing awareness to what was happening on the streets of Tottenham. On the music side, while SJ was locked up, more new rappers started coming out of OFB, releasing tunes off the back of the success of other OFB rappers. One of these being an OFB member who went by the name of Ispot. He yeah, blew up from him, a single he release called free s and yeah. after a couple more big songs he dropped throughout the year a lot of fans were saying soon he could hit the same level as sj but in september of 2020 the ongoing Dude, feud between mpk and ofb caught up to him his pot was on his way home from college on the train but when the train hit a station called meridian water in edmonton three alleged mpk members spotted his pot sitting near the window on the train in front of Fuck, shocked onlookers bro. the three mpk members proceeded to stab his pot multiple times striking mainly his lower back and face one of the strikes actually ended up hitting one of his eyes damaging Damn. his vision but thankfully his pot survived the attack three mpk y'all you can niggas build different surviving shanks bro like that's just built different i'm not gonna lie 
Like, bro. Members were actually jailed after CCTV footage caught them in the act. During these times, OFB and MPK were taking shots at each other on drill songs. OFB rapper Band OK dropped a song called Patient, which had several disses aimed at MPK. No, no, a couple I, MPK I rappers I also I dropped a song in early 2021 called Exposing Ops 2.0. Damn, do I have to get on those, bro? Film part of this track on the OFB block the Broadwater Farm Estate. Oh, this caused a lot of attention in the UK drill scene. Another drill group around 10 minutes away from OFB's block was also starting to get some attention in the drill scene called TPL. They dropped a track called Philly Don't Dance which had multiple disses towards OFB. TPL and MPK actually started linking up and eventually filmed a music video together for a track which featured both groups called Hitcock 45. They filmed this video outside Damn. Turnpike Lane train station in the M15 postcode and many members from each side started posting the location of the music video video on snapchat and other social media after the shoot was done a few members were still posted okay 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 i'm trying to hear this i'm trying to hear this i'm betting you these niggas slid on these niggas bro the train station and unfortunately a few shots were fired into the crowd of boys around 1 a.m with shots hitting a 20 year old no, tp no, that's tough. member who went by the name of shower man so i was a member i don't give a fuck that's not my problem Sadly killing him on the scene he's a member he's a member he's a, if he's a member he the knows what it's about he knows he knows if you're a member it's not my problem dog like i don't I don't feel bad. You know what I'm saying? It's a member at the end day, of the day. You with them niggas, area. you with them niggas, you know what like arise from that if you don't if you're not about it you're not around them so from like, park tottenham was also shot up with a young man being shot multiple times but thankfully survived causing a lot of friction in tottenham a few months afterwards an mpk member who went by the name of ky and his friend took a trip near the broadwater farm estate when they reached they spotted an ofb member called sits and his friend yeah. sitting down on the bench yeah. ky approached sits while we were sitting down and the two started to argue KY grabbed Sits' phone from him, which resulted in Sits slapping KY in his face. Afterwards, KY yeah. brought out a large knife from his trousers. Oh stabbing my Sits god, niggas pulling out of their trousers, bro, like fucking 12 inch blades. Times and then he made his escape. Sadly, Sits didn't survive the attack, and mobile Damn. tracking caught KY in the act, resulting in him getting caught and sentenced to 19 years. Throughout the Fuck. last few GGs, years, there's bro. been numerous back and forth situations between oh, hey. the two groups. Hey, hey, Over the last hey. few years, wait, wait, there's wait, been that. numerous back and forth situations between the two groups and with both areas being so close together causing paths to cross all too often unfortunately more situations more than likely will carry on happening it's been your boy kid nerd and peace out okay kid nerd i like that i like that i like that i like that okay i like that i like the beginning bro i like the beginning i really did i really did i really did that was fire the beginning i like that part in the beginning i like that i like that i like that I like that, 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 I like that. Okay, bro. That was tough. That, that was crazy. I didn't even know that. I knew they had, but... Yo, isn't there some other niggas? I think I don't think it's only uh, NPK. I saw OFB has issues with other niggas, too. Uh, well, like, I don't know, but I swear somebody told me that. I think it was any bro. Damn, that's been a while. I missed that nigga, bro, on stream. One of my mods, bro. He was tough. But yeah, he told me there was another thing. I think it was him that told me that. That was like a day before other niggas too, but I don't know which one, so.